Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC that consists of two triangles. One of them uh, is a right triangle uh, ACD, whereas the angle uh, BCD is uh, 30 degrees in another triangle. And moreover, this side length uh, AC is equal to this side length uh, BD, and both of them are uh, one unit each. And furthermore, this distance AD is X units. And now we are going to calculate this distance X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this angle. I'm going to call this angle theta. And we know that this is our 90 degrees angle. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles, as you can see in this diagram. And here we can see that this is our exterior angle C, whereas A and B are our opposite interior angles such that uh, C equals to A plus B. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle is going to be the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles, uh, theta plus uh, 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ACD. And now let's recall uh, so ka -toi. And we are interested in uh, cosine of theta equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, uh, our adjacent is 1 and our hypotenuse is x. So therefore, according to this uh, so ka -toa, our cosine of theta is going to be 1 divided by x. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCD. And now let's recall uh, law of uh, sines A over sine alpha equal to B over sine beta. Let me go ahead and label uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, side uh, lowercase b. And let's suppose this is our angle uh, alpha and this is our angle uh, beta. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, law of sines. A in our case is just a. So I'm going to write down a over sine of uh, alpha is this uh, theta plus uh, 90 degrees equals to b in our case is 1 divided by in our case beta is uh, sine of uh, 30 degrees. And now we know that sine of uh, 30 degrees is uh, 1 over 2. And since we don't know the value of uh, sine of theta plus 90 degrees, so therefore we are going to manipulate uh, this one. So we are going to recall uh, this another identity that takes care of uh, sum of angles where our angles are A and B. So sine of uh, A plus B is going to be equal to sine of A times uh, cosine of B plus cosine of A times uh, sine of uh, B. In our case, uh, this theta is our A and this 90 degrees is uh, our B. So therefore, uh, sine of uh, theta plus 90 degrees is going to be sine of theta times cosine of 90 degrees plus cosine of theta times sine of 90 degrees. Now we know that cosine of 90 degrees is 0 and sine of 90 degrees is 1. So therefore, this very first uh, term, this is going to become uh, 0. And this uh, second term, uh, cosine of theta times 1 is going to give us uh, simply cosine of theta. So therefore, uh, sine of uh, theta plus 90 degrees uh, turns out to be cosine of theta. But we know from equation 1, cosine of theta 
equals to 1 divided by x. So therefore, I'm going to replace this cosine of theta by simply 1 divided by x. So therefore, our value for sine of theta plus 90 degrees is going to be simply 1 divided by x. Therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, sine of theta plus 90 degrees by simply 1 divided by x. And we know sine of uh, 30 degrees is uh, 1 divided by 2. So therefore, this equation is going to become a divided by, this is going to become 1 divided by x equals to 1 divided by 1 divided by 2. And now let's recall this uh, basic uh, property for fractions. Whenever we have uh, this kind of scenario, this uh, simply flips over. So we are going to get A times C divided by B. Now we are going to apply that property over here. So that is going to give us uh, A times X equals to 1 times 2 is going to become 2. And now let's divide both sides by X on this side as well. So therefore, a is going to be equal to 2 divided by x. And now we know a is over here. I'm going to replace uh, this one by 2 divided by x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big triangle uh, ABC. And we know that this whole angle is going to be sum of uh, 90 degrees plus 30 degrees that is going to make 120 degrees and this whole side length a b is going to be sum of x and 1 so that is going to give us x plus 1 whereas this side length is 2 divided by x and this side length is 1 and now let's recall law of cosines we are going to apply over here on this uh, triangle and let's consider this angle 120 degrees and its opposite side is uh, x plus 1 so therefore by using this uh, law of cosines we can write uh, x plus 1 whole square equals to and now we are going to focus on these two side lengths so i'm going to write down one square plus two divided by x whole square minus two times one times two divided by x times cosine of this 120 degrees and now we know that cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 divided by 2. Now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on the left hand side on this binomial. So therefore our left hand side is going to become uh, x square plus uh, 2x plus 1 equals 2 on the right hand side. 1 square is same as 1 and that is going to give us 4 divided by x square and here when we multiply this thing that is going to give us uh, negative 4 divided by x times a uh, cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 over 2 so I'm going to go ahead and multiply by negative 1 divided by 2 and now let's simplify this part uh, negative time negative is going to give us a positive and 4 divided by 2 is going to give us a 2 so that is going to be simply positive 2 divided by x and furthermore this one and this one on the right hand side they cancel each other out so we are ended up with uh, x square plus uh, 2x equals to 4 divided by x square then plus 2 divided by x. Now let me go ahead and tweak uh, this term. I am going to multiply and divide by x at the same time. So therefore on the numerator this is going to become 2x and at the denominator x times x is going to give us x square. So therefore we can write x square plus 2 times x equal to 4 divided by x square plus 2x divided by x square. 
And now we can see between first two terms over here, x is in common. And from these two terms on the right hand side, 2 divided by x square is in common. So therefore, I can write this thing as x times x plus 2 equals 2 on the right hand side. I can factor out 2 divided by x square outside and we are ended up with 2 plus x. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by x plus 2 over here and here x plus 2 here as well. And we can see that they cancel each other out and this cancel as well. So therefore we are ended up with the x equals to 2 divided by x square. And now let me go ahead and make this one fraction by just putting 1 underneath and now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we are ended up with the x square times x is going to give us x power 3 equals to 1 times 2 is 2. Now let's go ahead and take a cube root on both sides and cube root on this side as well. And here cube and cube root they undo each other. So we ended up with simply x equals to cube root of 2 and that is our x value. So thus our distance x turns out to be cube root of 2 units and that is approximately equal to 1.26 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.